We are here to help instructors use extra normal. I think of myself as extra normal. Well, that is true, but using extra normal in the classroom can help students sharpen their writing and argument skills. Why not just use the typical writing assignments to improve those skills? Well, look at these students and how engaged they are. Chickering and Gamson State Good Undergraduate Education develops cooperation among students, uses active learning techniques, emphasizes time on task and respects diverse talents and ways of learning. Okay, so where do we start? He's going to ask for your name and password probably. And I already have an account and I've set this up. But so normally you'd go to probably the first page. And you want to create your content. And usually you start with a list of character or actors that you can use to populate your animated movie. I usually use Peeps just because I've already paid for them. When you create a new account, you're given, I think, 300 extra normal dollars, which is usually enough to make one animated movie. If students want to make more than one, they'll have to buy extra money. Or you can get a license to use the site in a classroom. But that costs cash also, and that's something you may want to consider if you find that this is a very useful and exciting thing. So I'm going to go to My Stuff. I'm going to go to something I've already created in progress. And this is actually the one that you've seen earlier today. I'm going to continue editing that. So you see here that you've got a number of different sets that you can use. Most people get about 300 extra normal dollars. With what I've selected, it's going to cost about 137 to 150 usually if you use cheap sets. So again, if you go to a much more expensive set that has $3 signs, you see how much it costs an extra 100 extra normal dollars to do that. Um, I've already bought this set, so it's not going to cost me a whole lot of money. Then you pick your actors, and if you do one or two actors, you can give them different personalities and different voices. And you click on sounds. I usually avoid doing this because I don't find it is very helpful. Um, the students may like playing around and putting different sounds in the background and different background music. Um, again, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm more concerned about this, which is the script. And here's the script I typed for the earlier introduction to this animated movie that you've been watching. If I want to create a new person or a new text block, I can do that. And that shows up here at the bottom. The students will really love being able to drag different camera angles in and different motions. And you can do different things. And again, all these bells and whistles are kind of things that you can do to make the animation a little more exciting and thrilling. Once you're done with it, you want to save your document or your movie. And just sort of tell your students, don't publish it until you're absolutely, positively ready to finish it. Because once you publish it, it takes that money out of your account. So saving it and previewing it don't cost any money. It's when you publish is when you sort of pay the piper. And then these are available on the Extra Normal site. You can download these. You can throw them up on YouTube. Uh, you can do a variety of things with them. That's easy. I am going to use Extra Normal in every single class. Thanks for your help.